All right, Nat, well, firstly, a fitness update for everyone. How many, who are you taking? Who's not able to go? Yeah, so um, Lily's obviously still out, but tracking really well. Uh, so we're pretty pleased with her. Kate, unfortunately, um, just hasn't been able to recover from um, a bit of an ankle knock that she took when she was away with the ferns. And we knew that she was going to have to play with a bit of pain and it was tolerable. But um, it got to the point where she went for imaging and the sports docs decided that actually uh, due to her age, due to kind of a couple of little injuries that are starting, little niggles that are just starting to happen, she needs a bit of time off. And it's understandable. She's had, if you look at the last 12 months, um, she's had a bit of a crazy time. So she's going to be out for the next couple of weeks. Um, Izzy's tracking well. Izzy um, should be available for selection next week. Um, and then Rolo, again, we're just still managing. Um, I think she's pretty close. We just need to get her involved in a few more trainings. Uh, make sure she can take the load and then she'll be available pretty soon. Um, we're obviously really excited to get Wiz back. She is, uh, keeps getting quoted, but built different. But um, you know, she's doing an incredible job and Susie's really happy with where she's at. So she could be available this weekend, but on limited minutes. Um, and then Marisa mm -hmm. also came off last week, was looking a little bit ropey, but has done incredibly well and will be available again this weekend so we're really pleased with that one yeah so marisa and chloe both train pretty much most of the week yeah 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 they've been in training uh, chloe's looking great she's looking a bit scary with her black eyes uh, they had a promo today i told her not to scare the kids but um yeah she's she's good she's not concussed nothing's broken she just looks like she's been in battle and Marisa, the big surprise that she's able to come back so quickly after you know she was on crutches as a precaution, mm -hmm. but that she's been able to bounce back so quick? Yeah, huge surprise. Um, she's done really well with her rehab. She's studying to be a physio, so she's always asking Susie what to do. Um, and yeah, really, we, we saw her the day, the day after the game. Uh, we had recovery and she could wait best and that was a really good sign and then they had a day off then we came back in and she was looked pretty mobile and managed to do some straight line running and yeah back in and look, feeling good so we're pretty happy with that and you mentioned Wiz before what does she bring to the team being back and available to play yeah i think it will be it will be great having Wiz back she um obviously is kind of our box-to-box -box midfielder she adds a lot of energy she loves to attack and then loves to get back and defend and that's possibly something that we've been missing a little bit is that uh, defensive transition piece um for her as well like i think it's pretty iconic you know we play victory last year was this, the game that she uh, sat down she sat out from last year against victory so um it's kind of almost written that this would be the game that she would come back for even though it's a little bit ahead of schedule so um yeah we're, we're pretty happy to have her back in the mix First Trans-Tasman road trip for this team. What challenges does that bring? It's another new experience for the team. Yeah, it is. Um, got a few nervous flyers, including myself. So that's always um, something to, that we have to navigate. But for us, um, you know, like we will take it on the chin. The girls have done a lot of international travel before, maybe not as this group, but individually even with the 20s, the Ferns. Um, for some of the players, they get to go back home to Australia as well, which is great. So whilst it will have challenges with um, the kind of time that you have in the airport, that you're sat down on the plane, the time difference, um, the heat, the heat's looking outrageous this weekend. Um, it's all stuff that we've spoken about, so I'm sure the girls will take it in their stride like they do everything else. Yeah, afternoon kickoff. So, yeah. what challenges is that heat going to bring? Because I think it's meant to be in the early 30s, early to mid 30s. Yeah, luckily enough, it's meant to have a peak hot peak um, of like 35 at around 4 p.m., which is kickoff. So, we're really stoked with that. But yeah, the league have sent us through the advisory. We know um, we dealt with it last year. Um, we know water breaks will be in. We know that a kickoff could be delayed. We know there could be thunderstorms. We dealt with every single thing last year, so we're prepared. Um, like Dan, the sports scientist, is all across ice towels and and how we can like cool the players down. So um, we'll be ready. Melbourne victory, defending champions, but at the start of the season with a couple of defeats. What have you mm -hmm. made of them through the opening couple of rounds? Yeah, I think um, surprising that they've lost a couple of games because when you watch the games back, Sydney are obviously 
um, an incredibly good side and um, just punished them for a couple of their mistakes. And then Western United was such a such a tight game, which was, you know, the second phase of a set piece. So I think um, they've had their injury struggles as well, and they're expecting a few players back this weekend. Um, it's their first home game, I believe, so I think they're going to have something to prove. And they are defending champions, so we can't take the fact that they've had two losses um, for granted. It will be a real, real tough game. But um, when we played them last season, we did lose 2-0, but it was one of our Bella kind of in-possession games. So we just want to keep building. Um, we want to make like a 45-minute performance and then a 70-minute performance into a 90-minute one. And hopefully that can happen this weekend. Yeah, and with them having those two defeats, do you think it's a good time to be playing them or a bad time? How do you view it? No, I think they're angry. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I don't know whether there's ever a good or bad time to play these teams. Um, you, you know, like we've watched them a lot. We can see where we can get some opportunities and where they can hurt us. And I think, um, you know, both teams have got something to prove this weekend, so it should be a real, real good test. Now, with Kate and Lily out, who's going to be stepping in wearing the armband have you made that decision yet? still kind of yet to decide i have somebody in mind um that i have just spoken to the team don't know yet so i'm not gonna um, divulge that information but um we want to we want to bring in an air of positivity this week um we, we could get to the point where we're panicking and catastrophizing with the results but um some of the football that we're playing is in the right direction so we want somebody that's going to bring um a whole heap of positivity whether we go up a goal whether we go down a goal and just finally um with emma ralston obviously she spoke the other day about how scary her moment that she had in the football ferns game is she getting closer to returning you hope to have her in the next couple of weeks yeah i hope so it's it's one of those ones where we you can't really put a time frame on it. It's not really a linear process. Um, so she's still working hard with uh, with Susie and with Dan. And I kind of take Susie's lead on when she thinks Rolla will be ready to perform. And um, yeah, we'll kind of just watch this space a little bit with her, but hopefully not too far away. Fantastic.